But first, a Falcon 9 rocket is getting ready to blast off from the Space Coast. This is News 6 at 4. I'm Lisa Bell. I'm Julie Broughton. And I'm Ginger Gadsden. Here's a live look now from a Space Launch Complex 40. This is at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. SpaceX is about to send another batch of high-speed Starlink Internet satellites into orbit, 56 of them, uh, as a matter of fact. This will be its 21st launch in 2023. They are about 20 seconds out. Let's listen in. At T plus 33 seconds, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Space Launch Complex 40 in Cape Canaveral, Florida at 4.01 p.m. Eastern Time. Next major milestone coming up is Max Q, which is the point where the vehicle experiences the greatest amount of external, external stress, stresses as it ascends through the atmosphere. Falcon 9 is supersonic. We do throttle down the M1D engines briefly to reduce the loads on the vehicle. Power and telemetry nominal. Max Q. And at this point, we have throttled those Merlin 1D engines back up to full power to continue to boost. Them. Okay, you see a successful liftoff, and they plan on landing the boosters, the first stage, back uh, on a drone ship. That usually happens about eight and a half minutes after liftoff and by all accounts this is uh, apparently a successful mm -hmm. liftoff certainly a picture perfect one looking absolutely beautiful out there i like the name of the drone ship it'll be landing on just read the instructions yeah that, <laughs> it's, it's a good thing in life right. always right so looking good out there and mm -hmm. we'll continue to keep an eye on it you can continue to watch it on clickorlando.com